So today I am going to show you how to repair a bay window wiper motor. Um, so this is the old wiper motor. The um, There's a cog in here that's worn out. The motor's just spinning a um, spiral piston and it's just worn out the plastic cog so it's very hard to access a new cog um, or a new motor exactly the same anyway they can get refurbished I've seen somewhere online in America I think what I've done a bit of research and what I found is a replacement. So this is from a later model. The ad was Volkswagen, Skoda, Audi, wiper motor. As you can see, all this is exactly the same. The difference I can see here is that nut's going to be bigger thread than that one but the spine fits on there exactly the same and we are missing this bracket that mounts to the dash so and the wiring is different but I will walk you through that as well so it's a two-speed motor apparently or you can make it work as a two-speed motor which will happen as we progress so the first thing I'm going to do is well there's two ways I could do it I can cut this off and weld it to this section here or I can get a bit of, what have we got there? Two, two and a half mil plate, which seems to be similar there. And make something, trace this out and make this to fit over the top with the extension on. And I could just screw it straight down and notch out around all this stuff. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do and I'll let you know. And I'll leave a link or a description of this motor. And apparently it's a lot stronger. And whilst raining and whilst wind is blowing, the motor will not stop the wipers from doing their job. Okay, I'll keep you posted. So what I've decided to do is I've uh, made that little section there and I'm going to place it in the same orientation as the original. Weld it on and I think that should do that part of it. I'm going to wrap it up with um, wet cloth or something whilst welding so I don't create too much heat here and then the next step will be to check which wires go to where and and um yeah we'll take it from there okie dokie keep it posted so I have welded it I got the orientation correct uh, Smoothened it out a little. That's the back there. I'll give it a trial run. I, um, whilst I was welding it, I had a wet rag wrapped around everything, around all the electrical. Um, everything seems to be pretty good. I just noticed, I think I nicked that there, but I think that's okay. Um, other than that, I'm going to assemble it 
and see how it looks. Okay, so that's assembled. Everything seems to be good. We're straight down there. We have the same orientation going as the other one. So next step would to be figure out which wires go where. Looks fairly simple. There's only two coming from the motor. One's active and one's and no neutral, I guess. And then you've got a neutral that goes directly to the base. There's only really two there that come from um, two different phases on the uh so there's a cog in there and it has a a wheel on it and there's um copper sliders i guess that tell the motor which way to go or which speed to use so that'll be the next stage i'm just gonna prevent this from rusting and then we'll move on so these are the numbers on the Harness on the motor. So this is on the 79 bay. So what I've done is corresponded these colors with the corresponding harness or pins on the updated motor. So, how did I come to this conclusion? Did a bit of research and the T3 has this configuration which I think the T3 had a different number here um, and here. So the ground was a different number and the 31B was a different number. So I'm going to try it and see what we get. Hopefully we get some turning. I'll keep you posted. So I've got this wired up. I'll put a diagram there for you. Uh, so first speed. Second speed. Turn it off and it goes back to position, I guess. So that should be back to zero. And um, I'll hook it all up and show you what's going on. So I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can. We've got here the motor from the 79 bay window. There's these numbers here. And I'll show you what I've plugged them into on the new motor. So the way it is. And there it is. Okay, so we've got um, sit there. Try to get a pointer. So we've got 53B, which is yellow, which is that one on the stalk, on the harness, body harness which I figured the yellow and green are the speeds of the motor or two sections of the motor, I guess. So we've got 53B and 53, which is the green. They are going on the harness. So 53B and 53, which is on this one here 31 is in the middle which is neutral which is going to here which is the ground which you can see there red is power which is corresponding 31b which is the top, top notch up here. And then you've got the blue one, which is in uh, the middle 
middle notch up here. The blue one is telling it where to park. So basically, um, when the blue one's in, it'll park. It parks in an upright position. Not very sure why at this stage. And if I take it out, I can basically stop on wherever I like. And um, yeah, hopefully that clears that. So one thing to note is this is the mechanism that turns the wipers. So if you remember when it goes to park, it stops pretty much in that spot there. And if you look at the top section, it goes up and down that way, which I figure out a bit later on that it stops in the wrong spot. So I haven't figured out exactly what the reason is behind that. Whether, so if I unplug the blue wire, it'll stop in the upright position. I mean, it'll stop wherever I want it to stop. If I plug the blue wire in, it'll stop in the upright position. So here you can see I'm fixing it there in its park position, which is wrong in this case. So I'm still working on her to resolve that issue. But the simple way is out of it is to just keep the blue wire unplugged. So it's all in, plugged in. Um, I'll show you the speeds. So if we go to the first dial, speed one, turn it up, we go to speed two. The motor is a lot stronger than, than it used to be. So I don't think the wind's gonna slow it down or stop it. So that's the park position there, which I'll show you in a second. It's hard to see without the wipers on, but it's kind of parked in a position where if I start it again, that will go down rather than up. So what you'll see next is the wipers on and I'll show you the orientation that they go. So I've got them working. And when it parks, it parks up the top. Uh, maybe that's for aerodynamics. <laughs> I don't think so. There is possibly a wire where I can change around it might park it in a different spot. Let's have a look. So basically, they're parked at the bottom at the moment. So if I go and plug in the blue wire, which seems to be the park wire, they will go into a vertical position and that's where they're going to park. Rather than parking down, they park up in a vertical position aerodynamic way so basically if I leave that blue wire unplugged I can hit the speeds first second stop it we're basically wherever I want so the blue wire just sends it to a park position which in this case is wrong so that's there on I can just stop it there which I guess is is a pretty good compromise um, so for now, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be leaving the blue wire out and I've got registration uh, roadworthy to go through. So that, that's going to keep me out of trouble for now. So I'll keep you posted. So that's where I've adjusted it for now. I think it's slow enough there. I'd rather get a little bit more orientation going this way. Get a bit more coverage on the driver's side. So that's speed one. Go to speed two. Much better.
So this is the build for now. What I had to do the other day was um, change the brake sensor, which is under there. Now I've got rear stop lights. Um, another thing I had to change was this the wiper stalk. Something was going on in here and it wasn't working properly. So now it's kind of, I don't know, mechanism's gone. It's all here, so got a new one of them. Just campers. Um, it's, it's a nice OEM looking lever. Um, other than that, I've got a video on this gear lever upgrade. It's probably the best thing that's happened to this vehicle, honestly. The headliner is not great. Uh, the glue came unstuck. So I have to find a resolution for that. Like I said, I'm getting ready for Rego, which hopefully happens next week. Not sure if you know, the wheels, BCI wheels in Victoria, Australia. Do a 17 inch smoothie. Probably my favorite thing on the look of this vehicle. Plastic water tank, fitting perfect. Indicators work, horn works. I'm going to upgrade the horn because it sounds like a um, old vintage vehicle. Not even an old vintage vehicle, sounds like it's, I don't know, crackly. So we have the fridge, we've got the sink, we've got cupboards, we've got the rock and roll bed. And again, the headlining is not to be desired at the moment. That'll be getting an upgrade. Yeah, and that's it for now. So thanks for watching. Give us a like, subscribe. Catch you next time.